Hey, Doug Willard here from Rochester Wind Sports in Rochester, New York, located near the lovely Finger Lakes of New York State. I'm going to talk to you about windsurfing boards today, and I've got a lot of options laid out here behind me, from beginner to advanced. The first one I want to look at and talk about briefly is actually not a windsurfer at all. This is a stand-up paddle board, but often overlooked. They make a lot of stand-up paddle boards that you can insert a mast onto and use it as a stand-up paddle board and as a windsurfer. A lot of versatility there. This board's ten and a half feet long and right around the shape and size that you would use for learning windsurfing. They do stand-up paddling okay, they do windsurfing okay. That's an option, don't overlook it. Immediately right behind me is a starboard start. This is the way learning boards have gone over the past decade. This board is very wide and it's fairly short, right around eight and a half feet. A lot of buoyancy in its volume and it's got a soft deck to help make it soft when you learn how to windsurf and if you fall down. It has options for foot straps and it's great for learning young kids to adults. Next, as you progress, we're moving on to more of a moderate wind, moderate high wind uh, windsurfer for uh, kind of free ride riding it's called. It's wavy, you're getting going, you're planing, you're on top of the water, you might even be in the straps. That's about a 115 liter board for kind of all around cruising. Great for a lake like Canandaigua Lake or Lake Ontario. Good board for anywhere from a sail size from 5'8 all the way up to 8'5. The last one on the left is a high wind windsurfer. That is a bump and jump windsurfer. A lot of flexibility and maneuverability in that board. That's a 95 liter fanatic board and that's a board that I use when the winds are really going and I want to be able to turn and slash much like surfing, hence windsurfing. Uh, it's great at jumping, it's built durably and quite light. Um, the reality is I don't get a lot of days on that board on the end. The most I windsurf is on this 115 liter board. Well, anyways, I gotta go play in the playground back there. See you next time.